OK, so the last piece we've got to do the graded region to will be this outside surface through here. So I'll just help you through this one because this one's a bit complicated. So we'll do graded region. Um, we might uh, we might just do external points, I think. Perimeter points only. You'll see how that goes. I'll just select the outside piece of topography and then we'll go to the site plan to have a look at the effect that we've got through here. Now, the, the points that I need to change will be the points around the perimeter up through here. So, um, these points, I might uh, delete all of these. Let's put them around and delete these ones. Then everything else around the building will be 200 millimetres below 99 metres, so that will be 98,800. Um, so all of these points from around the building area, yeah, uh, so there, so I'll hold my control key down and I'll keep selecting more points now, all these, just pan around a little bit and all of these points through here. So all of those points around the building there, so that's where the concrete apron would come up to the building level, all of those need to be something like 98,800. Okay. Then as we drive up the driveway then, that'd, that'd be right at around about this point, but we, we need this point to be 99.1. So um, I might just um, leave that just at the moment. I might just presume that if that's 99.1, then if we made this something like 99, we well can see it does actually follow the 99 metre contour quite nicely. Okay, I'm just having a look for that 99 metre contour again. It will. It will follow the 99 metre contour just nicely. So if we were to make these also something like um, 99, well you've got to match what the concrete slab's going to be at that point. So if the concrete slab's going to be, I reckon, I reckon it could probably stay at around about the same. So uh, 99,800 would be this, uh, 98,800 would be the same thing for these couple of points through here. So that's what I'll do at that point through there. OK, so those those three points there, I'm going to make them uh, 98,800. Um, presenter, that. Now, points down around about here, that also should be 99. If the if the slab's going to be 99 meters, then that needs to be about 200 millimeters below that in all those cases. So if there's cases where you want to sort of force that to happen, what you can do under the edit surface menu is um, we can create we can place a new point, and I can place a new point on the boundary area around here, and see everything's around about 99 meters at that point. So I'll just have to modify the level of that. Should have modified it before I put it in actually. If I change that level also to be 98,800 per centre. So that point will be 98,800. This point's 98,800 and that's all matching the 99 in that sort of area here. But when I get to, so probably the same thing. Oh no, um, we're starting to drop down a little bit around here. But maybe we could leave those at the same level. 98,800. Um, now this is once again, this should be this is all around about the 99 meter uh, level here, so they should be around about 98,800 also. Okay. Now I'll leave the rest of it natural ground, I won't change too much there, except this point here is going to have to be 200 less than that, so that's 98.95 at the moment, so this point here is going to have to change to 98.75, so 
So that make that ninety eight seven five zero. Okay. And I can now go and place some more points. Go back to the edit surface point, place some more points. We want them to be the same. Ninety eight um, I don't want ninety eight seven fifty. And because this isn't but also ninety eight seven fifty. So if we just place another point along there and another point at that point there. Um, and the same here, another one there, so 200 millimetres below each of these points. Um, we'll put one there at 98,800. You can see what I'm doing is each of these serve each of these elevation markers that we put on before, I'm putting more points right on top of those that are 200 millimetres less than each of these levels through here. So I'll go in and do all of the 98800s. Okay. So I'll change this now and I'll go 98775 on top of that. And 98700 at this point. Uh, another 98700. I'll make this one a 98800. At that point there. Do another 98800 at that point there. And a 98900 would be this point here, wouldn't it? So we'll just go up 100 millimeters at that point. Just around about there anyway. Right. Cancel that. I'm going to make sure. Oh, we're chopping through the boundary, so I'll just leave it at that actually. Um, so a 98800 at this point here. Now we had already made all of these points 98800, I think, but I'll just double check one of them. And yes, it's 98800 to all of those. Um, this point here is going to have to be 98675. Modified, sorry, I'll just escape out of that. I'll um, keep going back to edit surface place point 98675, and that will be at that location through there. And I think we've already, it looks like we've already put one there, and at 98700. Just check that out, yep. And then all of these through here. I'll double check those in a sec. Okay. So this one, these these ones through here also. Oh, that one's been one. I'll just delete that one. They all need to. All these ones through here need to be the 98800. So I think I've put in all the points that I need to adjust here. I might as well put another couple in through here actually. Back to edit surface, place points. I'll do a 98800 underneath these 99 points. Through there, and we'll do a 98675 at this point. Okay, so I think we've got all of our points um, in there, so we should just be able to finish that particular surface. And in 3D, we'll have a look at what we've created. see that the surfaces are all pretty much coming through and blending with each other ready for the building to be built. So that's the point where we need to leave it at, at this stage. Um, you've got all of your topography. The, the important thing just to mention to you is that each one of these graded regions now has got something on new construction as well as a matching piece of topography. So that one there is new construction and it's got a matching piece of topography projected in plan which is the existing levels and that's on that's on existing but anyway that's as far as we need to take it at the moment so we'll make sure we'll do a save um, and we'll stop the video at that point